I'll show you how much basil I can grow for less than a dollar a week. Welcome to Hydro Haven. Back in late July 2020, I started seven basil plants with the goal to see how much I can grow for less than a dollar a week, and that is a dollar of consumable costs per week. This video is far longer than I thought it would be, so I'm going to summarize everything now, and then after I'm done, you can continue on, watch the video at your own pace, speed up the video, chop around, or just uh, take the information and roll with it. But thanks for watching, and if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and smash that like. I really appreciate it. First off, my lights. I used my Hack Leaf LEDs. I used a 33 inch Procyon model, which is 48 watts nominal. And I also used a four inch Happy Leaf LED, but I did not know that Happy Leaf was discontinuing that model. So sorry about that, but I'm not gonna go back and edit it at this point. For the nutrients, I used Master Blend. I think the best formula is to mix it according to the ratio on the packaging using a TDS of about 1,000 and a pH of about 5.8. I didn't use that in this video, but I think for me, that was the best mix. TDS 1,000, EC 1,4, and a pH of about 5.8. For my net cups in this video, I use my one inch net cups. These little ones from CZ Garden. I found that once the basil got a little bit taller and a little bit fuller, they could kind of tip over kind of easy. So I think I'm going to switch over my basils to two inch net pots. The cost will be a little bit more for the rock wool, but since each one of these plants will last for four to six months, I'm not too concerned about it, uh, the extra cost involved. So I'd rather have the stability than having the extra nine cents of savings. For the seed, I went with seed from M. My Gardener. These are mammoth basil seeds. I really like the mammoth basil variety. If you were around for my How I Practice series, I grew one of these in the series, and this is what I grew for this video. Probably not as good as the Genovese basil, but it's a solid variety produces really large leaves and lots of abundance. I haven't seen one go to flower yet. I had one of my plants, the one that I planted from the How I Cracky series, it lasted about eight months, which is astounding. So fantastic variety. The cost when I bought this was 99 cents plus shipping. They changed their price structure, so now it's $2 a pack but now they offer free shipping on seed orders. So still a phenomenal value. And I certainly recommend and my gardener for your seeds. For my cost, I calculated my first year will be $49 and 76 cents. And that is the cost of electricity, rock wool, nutrient, and pH down along with the seeds for the first year. For the second year, I'm deducting $2 off the cost because I won't need to use the seeds anymore. I'll just take cuttings. The electrical cost is, I calculate 15 and a half, uh, 15 and a half cents on average per kilowatt for me. And that's the cost I actually pay after the charges and distribution fees and the taxes. And I'll go ahead and throw up a brief chart of my calculations. Finally, how much can I grow for a dollar a week? Once I'm in full production, I can grow, let's say a little over a hundred grams of basil. That's with the stems removed every seven to 10 days, which is astounding. A cup is 20.1 grams. And I didn't know that. You'll see me mention that in the video. I noticed on Walmart that they sell uh, basil 
0.75 ounces for $1.98. So if my math is correct, my cost is eight times less than buying it from Walmart. And obviously my quality is a lot higher. Granted that their variety is probably a Genovese, a slightly more desirable variety of basil, but I think this mammoth basil is fantastic and I would far rather pay the price that I do and have the quality and the freshness that I get out of this. The time to get up to full production is about four months, which was a lot longer than I would like it to be. But with this variety, I don't need to take cuttings that often. So once you are up at full production, it's just a matter of maintenance after that. If the plant starts to look a little bit long in the tooth, take a cutting and replace the, the old plant. That's it. Now I'll go ahead and show you how I grow my basil. In this episode, I'm going to grow some basil. The basil I usually grow is this over here. This is Italian large leaf basil. I like it. There's some downsides I'm not really a big fan of. So I've been looking for a different variety. And if you recall from my How I Crack Key series, if you saw that, I started a mammoth basil which I like. It seems better suited for my grow conditions. So we're going to go with this variety. We'll be using seeds from our good friends at MI Gardener. 200 seeds, 99 cents, really good value. And the way I grow, I use one inch net cups and I take a one and a half inch Rockwell cube and I cut it into four pieces and they fit these net cups perfectly. And this cuts down my cost on Rockwell from about 12 cents per cube to about three, which is a great savings. I already have all my Rockwell cubes soaked up and we're gonna get these seeds loaded in. And if you watched my How I Kretke series, you're familiar with this process. You make the holes in each rock wool. And we're gonna go with two seeds per rock wool. These seem to have really good germination rates, so I'm not too concerned but it's always nice to have a little insurance. So we'll go with two seeds per rock wool. As I said, these will go under the six inch, or pardon me, the four inch Happy Leaf LED. And it'll probably be there for about four weeks before we actually get it under uh, the 33 inch model. But we'll have seven plants going at once. And the goal of course is to see how much basil I can produce for about a dollar a week because we like our pesto. So this is gonna be a good experiment for us. And I thought I'd bring you along for the journey. And we're back. Four weeks later, today is Saturday, August 22nd. These have been going for four weeks now. Let me give you a peek at the root structure. And as you can see, the roots are starting to grow into each other. And that's just about the point where I like to put them in their own individual buckets. So that's fantastic. So what I want us to do now is get these put in their own individual buckets. As you notice right here, this one's not gonna make it or it might I don't know should I let it try to live looks like there's a couple leaves maybe trying to come in yeah we'll let it live we'll see how it goes so I'm gonna put these in individual buckets and I'm gonna use my master blend formula and those will all go underneath the 33 inch light 
that means I'm going to have my four inch light free for the next four weeks. So if you wanted to have a setup where you're growing two shells of basil, you just load up another set of starters, get those going, let them go for four weeks. And then you could have 14 basil plants going at once, growing under two 33 inch happy leaf grow lights and having the starters under one four inch. But I just don't need that much basil. So I'm going to do three small lettuce heads in one bucket and let that grow for four weeks. Let's have a little side salad and then go back and put in some new basil starters. Get everything loaded up in individual buckets. We're going to put it underneath a 33 inch light and get our little mini set of lettuce and put that under the four inch light. If you have a small restaurant and you use fresh basil for your cooking, if you have a little space in the side of your restaurant, you can grow your own, probably save a ton of money and have exceptional quality. So just an idea, something for you to think about. Or if you're like us and you like having lots of pesto, this is a great solution. Save a ton of money. Basil costs a fortune in the grocery stores. So we like our pesto. Hopefully the system, if you like it, will work out well for you. But let's get these under the light. And we're loaded up. I'll probably come down and harvest one week from today. It will be a small harvest, so that I'll probably use for some omelets. But once these get going, they really produce well. So I'm excited to show you how much you can actually pull from one shelf of basil. This is Friday, August 28th, and I'm going to do my first harvest from our basil. Six of the seven have harvestable leaves. One is a little bit on the smaller side, and five are definitely on the larger side. And then the one all the way off in the corner to the left is just starting to kick in. So I'm gonna get these harvested up. We're going to have some basil pizza for dinner tonight. I have some other basil that I harvested. I'm gonna mix this all together and we're gonna have pizza. Get everything cut back. I think I said basil pizza, pesto pizza. We're having pesto pizza. We have two of the leaves right here. The one on the right is the smallest of the leaves from one of our plants and the one on the left is among the larger ones. Harvested 12 leaves. We're gonna combine this with the basil that we have. Make some pesto pizza. I'm excited. Our dollar a week basil has begun. This is Saturday, September 5th, and it's time to cut off some of the leaves here. Look at some of these are just monstrous. That's crazy. So it looks like most of the energy just goes to the really big leaves. And I know it doesn't seem like a lot's happening right now, uh, but there will uh, be more volume soon, the next couple weeks. But for now, We'll just take off the big leaves of six of these seven. The one in the back still needs a little bit of time to uh, get going. We're all trimmed up. I'm also going to change the arrangement. So I have these four in one row, three in the other. I'm gonna switch it up. The happy leaf light essentially disperses in a big oval pattern starting from the center and working its way out. And I think that'll be a little bit better light distribution for this. So. We'll give it a shot, see how it goes. This is Saturday, September 12th. We're gonna do a harvest, but this time I'm actually gonna show you how much I harvest. I was looking online and a lot of the pesto recipes measure the basil by the cup. And I was curious, well, how much makes up a cup? And the answer is 20.1 grams. So we're going to Harvest these big ones here, big ones. And then this is the one that was kind of a run to begin with. We'll harvest probably the largest four there. And even though that's not very big yet, we'll harvest those two big ones. So we'll get these harvested up. We'll remove the stems completely and we'll get weighed up to see how close we get to 20.1. Cause I think this is about the same amount that we've been getting in previous ones with the exception of this run that started out kind of slow. 
just getting the idea of how much you can actually expect to get out of seven plants in the early stages. They're still coming in. Uh, I think they're getting ready to explode, so, but we'll see how that goes in the coming weeks. I have everything harvested. As you can see, I cut the stems right off of it. It's a pretty decent size there. Yeah. So for the one that we haven't been harvesting from, this one that was kind of a runt to begin with, it's coming in pretty nice right now. I put those to the side, so I'll measure what we got from our um, six plants first, and then I'll go ahead and top it off with the seventh plant so you can get an idea of how much you actually get from six and how much you get from seven. Okay, this is from the six plants. It looks like we got just under 24 grams, 24.78, we'll call it 24.7. And we'll add our seventh plant. So that's over a cup. That's over a cup of basil. So if you're two people having pesto, I bet that would be enough because that's what we are, two people having pesto. And that's probably a, a healthy amount and adding our seventh plant puts us at 31.58, we'll call it 31 and a half. That's pretty decent, cup and a half of uh, basil from this harvest. So uh, these should be coming in a little bit more as you can see down there. Some of the lower leaves are starting to sprout out a little bit. Same thing with that guy right there. A couple of the lower leaves are starting to sprout out. And once they get going, then they kind of get out of control. But in these early stages, it just, it just takes a while. But still, not too bad. Weekly, good enough to uh, get a nice pesto dish. I don't know. I like it. I'm going to keep doing it. So we'll keep going. All right. We'll catch you in the next harvest. This is Friday, September 25th. Time for another harvest. Some of these leaves are looking kind of monstrous. Four of the five are starting to get lower leaves, which is what we want because we want these to get a little bit more bushy and not just keep going up and producing two leaves at a time. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. So this is a uh, been going for about a month in individual buckets in uh, the full nutrients. So I'm going to do a harvest, give you a quick weight check. That is our salad mix over there. That's going to be harvest soon. And now I'm left with a decision to whether I want to start seeds from scratch or wait till these are in a position to take cuttings. So I've never done a cutting from this variety before, but I'm sure it would work. So I think a cutting would be a better solution. I think it would certainly be a lot quicker so uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm leaning towards cutting and maybe just doing another quick salad mix and then try it again in four to five weeks. So let's get these cut up and I'll give it a quick weight check. All right, that's our take. 48.94 grams, so a little over two cups. It's Monday, October 5th. Kind of got a little bit too long between thinning these out. A couple of them got kind of big, but I'm really excited about is these lower leaves are really starting to come in. And now we're going to start seeing some of the heavier growth. Uh, two of these don't seem to have any lower leaf growth. That one has a little bit going right there. But I'll get these harvested up. It looks like we have a solid 44.7 grams. That is two cups and change. This is Saturday, October 17th. And I wanted to show you one of my better performers and one of the ones that just isn't quite getting up to speed yet. So this is what we wanna see. We wanna see the lower leaves come in and branch off, and this is where we start to really get our volume. You see the roots are looking pretty good. I am actually going to do a full nutrient change out for all of them today, 
give them some fresh nutrient. There's still lots of nutrient in there, but it's been long enough and I don't think topping it off will be the best solution. So, but as you can see with one that really isn't performing very well yet, we have a few of the lower leaves starting to come in. One, two, way at the bottom seem like they want to start. So it looks like two are in this position. One is a little bit better. And then we have the other, see, five. They're actually starting to fill out really nice. So now we're really getting into the full production. And this is where we'll really see the volume. I'll go ahead and do a harvest, weigh that up. Our harvest is large. There we go. Let's get it teared off. And let's see what we have. So when I go to grind up my basil leaves to make pesto, what I'll do is get a pair of kitchen shears and just come down into this and just start snipping away inside the cup. And that makes it a lot easier to get those grounded up with a hand mixture. So let's do a weight check. Um, yeah, it's too much for the scale. Let me get a different scale. All right, got a new scale weighing in at a healthy 76 grams, which is just shy of four cups of basil. And that is with the stems removed. So yeah, we're getting into full production. It's just gonna get beefier and beefier after this point. And we'll keep moving along to the point of getting at least one cutting done and maybe we'll see how much more we can harvest per, per week. But for a dollar a week, I think this is a pretty amazing take. Today is Tuesday, October 27th, and I am having mixed feelings about this grow. So some are growing in really well, obviously that big monster right there, but a few just aren't really kicking in yet. Not the best haul that we've seen, but right at two cups, just a little bit. Yeah, I guess it's right at two cups, 41.4 grams, so that's pretty good. I decided to trim my underperformers under way back, see if that I can encourage them to uh, start putting out new leaves. It's Friday, November 6th. Time to... Do a little bit more harvest. It looks like got one more coming in. Pretty good right there. That one in the middle is still struggling. But we have five that are pretty solid. So let's get these harvest up and weighed up. And I think soon I'm gonna take a cutting. And there we have it, 52.1 grams. So just about two and a half cups which is nice, pretty good, and these are just getting fuller and fuller by the day. It's Sunday, November 15th. I think we're past time to do a harvest. Everything's really coming in well, with one exception, but I think we're gonna have a pretty hefty harvest this time, and I think we will take a cutting, probably from this little guy right here, so let's get this harvested and weighed up. Not too shabby, 64.6 grams. Over three cups, single harvest. That's pretty sweet. Let's take the cutting. Just need a bucket with some water pH balance to about a six. Piece of rock wool cube, already pre-soaked. We'll put a hole in it. And I'm not going to use any rooting hormone. I'm just going to put it in as is. There we go. 
take that one right there and I'll actually just leave it I'll, I'll get these lower pieces off other little stems from where I did a cutting before or did a harvest and we'll cut it at a little bit of an angle. All right, we'll get that underneath the humidity dome and put it underneath our four inch happy leaf LED. I suspect it'll be about two weeks before we start to see uh, it root and then we'll put it in full nutrient and keep it underneath the four inch light or if one of the other basil plants looks like it's getting a little bit on the sad side, we'll go ahead and swap it out and take another cutting. Saturday, November 28th. Been about two weeks since we had a harvest Probably a little longer than I should have gone, but they're all looking really full. They're really nice. These are getting pretty huge. Mammoth, I dare say. Notice there's a little bit of nutrient deficiency there. I changed out the nutrient on all of these completely on November 23rd. Did not get in on video. But this one, I missed one of the nutrients, so we had a little bit of deficiency. And I changed it out. So, not too much harm. It looks like our take is 94.9 grams. That's nearly five cups of basil in a one gallon bucket. And I could have harvested more. There's definitely a lot more on these. So I definitely could have got over the 100 gram mark. But this is way more basil than I need. We've been eating lots of pesto pizza which is not a bad thing. The cutting still hasn't rooted yet, but I did check the pH and it was a little high, it came above the 7.0 mark, so I lowered the pH a little bit. Still hang in there, so I'm not too concerned about it, but it'll just take a little bit longer than I expected. It's Monday, the 30th of November, and I just wanted to take you along and show you Ta-da! It has rooted. So I'm going to get this cutting into some full nutrient solution. Here we are, December 6th, and I am wrapping up my little project. The dollar a week basil project. Very excited. I think it could have gone a little bit better, but all seven of my basils came in. The cutting took root, so the process would just repeat over and over again. And I wanted to convey what you can grow for a dollar a week. And I think it is evident that you can grow an abundance of basil for a dollar a week, far more uh, value than what's being put into it. So these are two of the plants right here, they're still going strong. Four and a half months later, we started this at the end of July. And I think these have another couple months left in them. So at this point, I would start taking cuttings. Here's our cutting. Here's our little root structure right there. Looking pretty good. And I say that I think these can go longer than six months because if you watched my How I Cracky series, I planted a mammoth basil then, and this is the same one, seven and a half months after seeding. And it's looking a little uh, looking a little long in the tooth, a little rough. I probably could have taken a little bit better care of it. The root structure is starting to get a little bit janky. That's all right. I, I think I'm gonna, uh, go ahead and chop this down now and and, <laughs> and let it be done. So 
I hope this information has been valuable for you and maybe you'll go and try to grow some basil. Obviously, if you're not doing this for a video, you don't have to harvest all seven plants at one time. You can just harvest a couple at a time. But I think we're at the point now where I can easily get 100 grams of basil every harvest. That's every one to two weeks, roughly. So, all right, I'll catch you the next time.